is a super sunny day today. Going to be 70 degrees for the first time here in Wisconsin. And I'm having my coffee. One point. Pretty cheery today because it's going to be a nice day out. We are at New Skis right now. We're waiting for our curbside pickup. We just called and ordered like a pound of bacon. There's a lot of people standing out there. And I think they're only letting so many in at a time. But I wouldn't want to be standing that close to everybody. So we're waiting in the car. They'll bring it out to us. This is our lunch today. And we're having the 45 calorie bread. One slice of Velveeta. One tablespoon of Miracle Whip. And that's all the points, right? This on blue. Ham. And this is on blue. Oh, and the ham. One five, point for the ham. Five points total. Five points total. We got a Dunkin' Donut uh, triple espresso over ice, and we added our premier protein to it. And now we are heading to Walmart to pick up, do a grocery pickup. Parking lot. This parking lot is really bad, in really bad shape. And we are here. Or are you going to park way down here? Make them walk. <laughs> we are at Sam's Club right now. I had to pick up some Premier Protein and some wraps. Look at this little girl laying on my eggs, being all broody. Look at you. Yeah, I know. Three of them today. Good girl. Well, today and yesterday. I didn't collect them yesterday. Are you broody? You need to get out of it because you're going to um, not lay any more eggs for me, right? Naughty girl. She's so beautiful. I don't know where the other one is. Oh, there she is. She was dust bathing. Hey, baby girl. So I'm starting this. Now, what I have in here is some onions that were frozen. We chop them up and freeze them. So I put maybe about uh, three quarters of a cup of onions that were chopped in here. One pound of the grass-fed beef, 90% fat-free. And a bunch of spices. I'm trying to recreate what I made on the 22nd. I posted it on Instagram. It was so good, you guys. And I'm hoping I didn't write anything down. So this time I'm going to write this down. I'm thinking these are the spices I used for it. A dill weed, onion salt, Italian seasoning, parsley, and paprika. But I'm not 100% sure. So we're going to try this mixture out. And I'm thinking maybe a half a teaspoon each is what I threw in there. I, I didn't really measure it. I just kind of threw it in. It is about a half a teaspoon because I poured it in my hand and it looked like about a half a teaspoon to three quarters of a teaspoon maybe. And that's what I've got going on so far. I've got some rice boiling here and what I do is I put in a mixture of wild and brown, short grain brown, one half cup to three quarter cup of liquid and then I put a spurt of soy sauce in there which makes it really good actually. And then I'm gonna be, once that is done, I'm gonna put it in to here once I get all the veggies in here. And then I'm gonna let this just fry up a little bit. The veggies I'm using is Bag of the Great Value California style broccoli cauliflower carrots. I used this last time and it turned out really good. Plus I'm gonna add some peas in there as well. So that's the veggies I'm gonna use for this mixture. This mixture makes four servings by the way. Four really good size servings. I just added two of these cloves of garlic as well. I got these at Trader Joe's, and I added two of these. They just come in these little, they just come in these little pouches here, and you just pop them out, keep them in the freezer. Really good. So I just removed our beef, garlic, and onions with all the spices on top of there into this bowl. Took it out, and then now I am going to add. All of my frozen veggies. I know this is a steamable bag, but we prefer it fried in the pan. And then I'm gonna add a half a bag of these peas, which is a one pound bag. So I added half of the bag last time, and I'm gonna add the half this time. And I'm gonna let this fry up just a little bit, and then I'm gonna be adding about a half a cup of um, chicken broth to this. 
and about a tablespoon of the everything but the bouillon. And I'll show you that in just a second. First, I'm gonna let this fry up just a little bit. I'm also gonna salt and pepper these just a little bit too. Where I did add just a little tiny bit of this, just a little sprinkle, depends on how spicy you like it. Just a little bit of this crushed red pepper flakes. And this is pretty strong. And maybe I put not even an eighth of a teaspoon, just sprinkled it on a little tiny bit. You don't want too much heat in this dish, but just a little tiny bit. Okay, I just added a half a cup of the Great Value Chicken Broth in there, and I'm just gonna let this um, reduce down. And I have it on medium, little over medium, not quite medium high. Okay, so this is one of those plastic forks. I have a little bit of everything but the bouillon, or everything but the, no, what is it? The bouillon, better than bouillon. Oh my gosh, I can't remember the name of that. And then a little bit of hoins in. I'm gonna throw that all in here. I turned up the heat to almost high, just under high. I want this to boil out really nicely now and get these vegetables a little softer. And then when all of the liquid is gone, I'm going to add the hamburger back in here, all of the hamburger, and then I'm going to add the rice once it's done. Once the hamburger is in here, I'm gonna turn this down to simmer until the rice gets done, which should be pretty close to done. Most of the liquid is boiled out now. I know this is ready when you can hear that loud sizzle in here. All of the liquid is gone now. I threw a carrot out, of course. So we're going to put the burger back in along with this carrot. I'm going to put all of the hamburger back in. We're going to add just a dab more. And I'm going to turn the heat back down. Because it's pretty hot right now. And now I'm going to wait for the rice to get done, and this is going to be pretty much done. Looks pretty similar to what I made before. Hopefully it tastes the same. Okay, so then I turn this down to simmer now. This is pretty much all the way done. I'm just going to leave it on simmer until my rice gets done. The cover off my rice, and you can see there's a little liquid down. I turn the heat up on high. I'm going to sit here and watch it, though, until the liquid is all gone and dried out a little bit. It won't take long on high heat. The last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some soy sauce on here. Just a couple little squirts like that. And that is it then. Because last time we were adding soy sauce in here. So I'm going to pre-add it and then put the soy sauce on the table in case Corey wants a little bit extra. Alright, this is totally done. You can hear the sizzle in there now. Once you hear that, it is done and ready to go. The rice is soft. So we're going to go ahead and add it to this. I'll bring it back and show you what that looks like. Okay. I just poured it right on top and now I'm going to mix it all in together. And this is, I forgot, what did we call this last time, Corey? I did not get this as a recipe online. I made this up myself. So if there's anything similar to it, I didn't copy it. I just thought it up myself. And this is really good. I'll see what this one tastes like now that I actually know what I put in it. Hopefully it tastes good. I'll let you know. So that's what I do. I just mix it up really well. And this is four servings worth. And like I said, they're big servings. I think maybe we might have gotten five servings out of it last time. I'll put it in the bowl and show you what I get. Okay, guys, I made a mess, but I did get one, two, three, four, five servings out of this. These are two cup Pyrex containers, and they're pretty full. So we got five servings out of this. Okay, this is dinner tonight. It is six total points because of the ground beef. It's 90-10, and the rice that we put in here. So six points for this big bowl of, we call it hamburger stir fry, I guess. But it's really good. It is good this time, too. I think I would probably leave the pepper flakes out maybe. No, oh, Corey says no. So yeah, if you're not into spice though, I would leave it out. If you like a little bit of spice, leave it in. Hey guys, if you're ever wondering what to do with your stems of your broccoli, this is a great dish for that because there's stems of broccoli in here and they're actually really good. So Corey's place of employment sent a big box of snacks healthy pretty healthy snacks some are higher points but these ones happen to be 
Two points for the entire bag. They're strawberries and cream protein crisps, and boy, are they good. They taste like a, a milkshake sort of thing, a strawberry milkshake. They're really good. Sharing a bag, so we're each getting one point worth. Okay, we are going to probably close out the video here. I don't have a whole lot to say tonight. Maybe I'll talk to you guys later, but I'm not sure. So Corey is just finishing up a chapter in his book that he's reading. Got all the windows open. It is so nice out at 69 degrees in here right now. I'm not sure what the temperature is outside, but it's got to be pretty close to that. Really windy, but it's still really nice out. And the house smells so fresh now. And we are watching Bosch, that top left right there. We're going to start that on Amazon Prime. We hear it's really good. And the... Um, What's that called that we watch? Pre uh, preview. Trailer. The trailer looked really good as well. And I did get my dishes done. I'm just having some PB2 right now. Just plain PB2 to replace my peanut butter. It's two points. And that is all for right now. And of course, I've got Luna here by my side. And the other dogs are over there in their beds. We just got done with the first show of Bosch. And it's actually really good. It's getting pretty dark outside now and I am just going to after this second show here because we're partially into it I'm going to make some breakfast sausage for um tomorrow well actually not for tomorrow for Monday because tomorrow we're having hash and I will show you how I make that and link the recipe down below